Hello and welcome back. Well, I tried to get this. <laughs> I tried to get the title screen there, but I failed. Uh, welcome to Let's Try. We're trying goodbye title screen. I guess we'll never see you. Bone Razor Minions. Um, this is uh, an, I'm gonna say it another entry in the survival arena genre that has seems to propagate like uh, rabbits. Um, and I'm getting to the point definitely where I am going to be a bit more picky choosy about the ones I, I play because I know that people are going to get a little bit exhausted on the genre. So with that being said, um, I think that this one is definitely worth your attention, even if you are a little bit burnt out um, on, on the, the entire concept. So um, <laughs> Bone Minions, Bone Razor Minions, uh, what sets it apart exactly? Well, you don't exactly cast spells in this. You instead raise... Uh, helpers or little fighters that will fight for you um your only job really is to pick new uh minions to to help you or upgrade your minions or uh and just basically focus on on uh dodging and dashing around the uh arena so uh there's a lot of um there's a lot of stuff going on in this one it's almost hard to explain exactly how much is going on i'm trying to figure out Okay, it's C to dash. dash. The keyboard, um, I think the keyboard short, um, keybinds could, could maybe use some work because I, I am having a little bit of trouble. I was playing this on my Steam Deck and uh, gamepad and it's it's a lot easier on that. So um, what like what, what is what is interesting about this one? What's fun? Well, first of all, um, a couple things. I really like the style and flavor of this one. It's got this kind of really fun layer of irony as well as uh, like humor. And it's got this whole like kind of almost like dark mode, uh, you know, arena survival that I haven't seen too much. It's, it's got a really kind of nice slick flavor to it. Um, but also, there's some really cool stuff going on once you figure out a little bit of the nuance, um, which basically involves, like, you can upgrade your, your uh, minions to, like, second and then third level, and then uh, once you've unlocked some of the meta progression, which I will talk about later, um, then you can uh, kind of permanently upgrade them to, a, a like, a demon, and they get a really... Uh, crazy abilities. Well, they basically get a, like a super version of their main ability. And this serves to be a, like a lot of fun and you can like really kind of get into the strategy of like, well, I want to have like two melee users and a ranged user or I want to double down on like the witches debuff them so they take, you know, more damage and then I want to have, the, you know, these kind of things. Like this is something I haven't really done too much is like double and triple down on my ranger. Um, and there's a lot of... Um, I would say it's it's a lot of fun picking um, things that you haven't picked before because it'll it will uh, display it as a question mark. Like I, I've been playing this game a couple of, you know, a few times now, so uh, everything is visible to me. But at first, you don't know what anything is, and there's a lot of incentive to like yeah. For an example, like I don't know what this is. What is this? This is a level three eye popper archer. So this is the demon version of the archer. Uh, which sounds like fun. All hurdy painful damage that V suffers is reduced, so we could take damage reduction, or we could take. A, these are these are relics, so these are going to be passives. Demon will now also be revealed in future runs. Uh, increases sight range of all minions. Could be cool. Wow. Okay, so our archer is like shooting out beams, which seems like a really good thing. Um, we're gonna unlock this chest. I have just about unlocked all of the meta progression and I'm going to talk a little bit about the meta progression because it is a common topic on this channel as I tend to play a lot of roguelites and then complain about the fact that they all have meta progression, which seems like a weird thing to do. Why are you playing roguelites if you clearly don't enjoy them? Well, meta progression is a very divisive topic and, um, you know, including myself, it literally divides myself into a form of ambivalence. I don't, you know, I'll like a game and then I won't know how I feel about it after I find out that it has meta progression. So um, the, the question is, if you like or don't like meta progression, what what's what is this one doing that other games are not doing well i'll tell you i actually don't mind that this one has meta progression and i'll tell you why <clears throat> it's because a game lasts about five to ten minutes um not 20 minutes and not 30 minutes you know 10 max 
Um, so the stakes are really, really low. They are really low, and they like basically a, a, one game does not matter to the, to another. And especially in the very early games, you you don't even have the ability to like cast spells. We just got our first spell. By the way, uh, I got the humongous bone, and uh, I'm gonna cast it actually because that's gonna make all of these bones large. Though the bones are what you get need to collect in order to. Um, raise more minions and we had a lot of bones on the screen so that seemed like a good opportunity to use those oh took a little bit of damage there uh i don't know what this is what is this bone meldus destinus transforms level three minion into a random meld minion behold for it shall most surely be melden time this uh, this game's got a really um a really fun kind of like humor about it it seems to be very self-aware about the fact that this is probably like the 20th uh, arena survival game you've ever played. Here's our first boss. I actually haven't seen the second boss, so this will probably be the only boss that we see, unless I do really well. He's kind of tough, and especially like, I, I think I beat him the first time I, I fought him, but he can be really tough. Ectoplasm poop. Fertilizes gravestones to lure embittered, embittered ghosties to them. Okay. He's already dead. I, that is the fastest I've ever killed him, for sure. Heart Wrangler. This spell will now also be revealed. Tangle of helpful health hearts shall magically sprout. Wow, we're picking up a lot of stuff right now. I have the ability to hold um, three spells at once. That is a that's a, something you're gonna unlock in the uh, meta progression. We're about to raise another minion. Tangler. We'll raise another guard. Um, at first you can only have one demon, then you unlock the uh, ability to get more demons. And like, yeah, I, it, definitely you're not going to make it very far without some of the meta progression. That is just a fact. But when your game is only like three to five minutes long at, at first, it, I don't know, it just doesn't bother me so much. Like there's really, there's no investment from my end. When I spend 20 to 30 minutes on a game, and I'm like struggling all the way through and I just feel like the stack, the, the deck is stacked against me. Uh, that's when I start to feel a little bit frustrated with the, the, just the concept of meta progression. But when a game is three minutes and, you know, there's like no investment from me, I, I just don't, I can't, I can't care. It's, it doesn't matter to me. And then I start to enjoy the meta progression for what it is supposed to be in the first place, which is that your run really didn't matter and your progress was made nonetheless, you know? Um, ultimately, I think that, you know, I think meta progression can be a good thing. It really should just be a, a tool for injecting replayability. And in this sense, I mean, it is that, though it is kind of arbitrarily limiting your progress in the game, all that means is that you, you know, you don't get to see as much of the uh, the enemies, the bosses, until you've you know, you played a few times. And when it's a three minute game, that's totally fine with me. So, um, we've got quite a nice assortment of little minions now. We've got our a demon, and I think we should be getting our second demon soon enough because we have a level three bone guard. We have a meld. I've that's a, this is the first meld I've ever had. This is also the only character I've had right now. Even though I've played a few times, I've never actually seen any other character unlock. Raise Giantin Meldus Mouse. Fuge merge two meld minions into a Giantin Meldus Meldus Mouse, whom launches a barrage of pure Meldus Mania blo blobules. <laughs> um. A little touch that I really appreciate in this game. I know this. I, I was saying this on. Uh, I showed this off on uh, stream. I really appreciate that the meta progression in this game is called meta progression. They didn't try and hide it. They didn't try and like beat around the bush at all. They were just like, yeah, it's meta progression. Um, it just like screams a, a level of self awareness that I can really appreciate. I'm gonna do a witch. The witch summons little circles that debuff the enemies so that they take more damage. Uh, new spell. Oh, what's this one? Drain Boner. Sacrifices a Barrow Boner to increase thy max health. I don't know if I want to do that. So our ghosties are helping, our melders are, are melding, and our demons are demoning. We have another chest. 
I don't know what the honestly what the the chest is really used for. Yo, shovel helm. I, oh, there is there is a some love flavor of customization as well. So there's a game, and I timed it. It was almost exactly ten minutes. <laughs> um, you can see on the left side there we got a card as well. I'm gonna talk about that as well, which I find to be kind of just a, a absurd level of uh, dedication. Uh, it's it's kind of insane. So first of all, class heritage. Um, this I assume when we get other characters, we're gonna be able to spend more of these points. But these are basically character traits um, that enhance our 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 play. Thou shall gain plus one go gold coin each second survived. Maximum 250. Uh, raise uh, able to reroll up to three offered relics. I didn't really use that. So you can like some of these are going to be more useful than others. Raises a new with a company of two extra bone barrows. Okay so you, you get more allies in the beginning. Um, then we're going to talk about this is the general uh, meta progression that uh, is is like inherently useful. Um, a destructive minion tally shall be shown upon thy death. So you can unlock, I guess, post-game uh, stats. Reroll up to three offerings. Eh. Bequest companion. Thou shall raise, rise anew with two random minion friends. So obviously that's going to be useful. And we'll, you can you can buy it twice, and every time you buy it, it's gonna it's gonna be a better version of that. Increase the maximum limits for all contraptions. Um. So we'll talk about contraptions on the next playthrough here in a second. Infuse three sinful demon friends. Let's get some more demon friends. Uh, offered four choices when choosing a friend. I'm good. Start able to seal an offered relic. So that lets you um, basically like banish a relic from ever appearing again. Uh, the pink ones are all like fully leveled. The green ones are leveled like once. Um invigorate oh we can't afford that let's just grab whatever we can afford that was able to bone merge up to three melded minions perfect so we've spent all of our gold uh which means i'm not going to be able to really show off the um <laughs> trap section but I'll, I'll just talk about it a little bit but first of all i want to talk about this so every time you play the game you unlock a card and then um you get to play this extra almost like shovel knight-esque kind of card game like, it really does kind of remind me of the Shovel Knight uh, game that came in, I think it was like, the King of Cards. It, 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 it feels very similar. I don't know if it actually is similar, but... Um, I'm, I'm not, like, I haven't really spent time learning how to play this, but I just think that the fact that it has this is it's just kind of amazing. I'm gonna lose, probably. And I don't have a lot of cards. You can't really... I, I have to assume you can't really get very far in that game. Um, press the wrong button. Until you've unlocked uh, quite a few cards. And you're going to do that by by playing the game. Um, this says we can raise this... Uh, per, like, we can get this class after raising a legion of 12 normal minions. I don't know. That seems to have not happened for me. We can try and ha make that happen. And I meant to talk about the traps, but I didn't. So, my bad. Um, basically the traps are something you can spend your gold on. We'll try just doing normal minions so we can get the extra class. Um, everywhere you see a gravestone is a possible location for a trap. Um, and they work exactly as you would expect. Um, some of them will, like, be a one-time use that, uh, drops, like, liquid that slows down the enemy. Sometimes there'll be, like, an actual trap that does damage, like this one. Um, and they all cost a little bit of gold, and you can really kind of customize the entire, uh, you know, graveyard to, to, uh, suit your needs. Well, I, I raised a, a minion that casts random spells. That one can be really nice, actually. And I'm just gonna do normal minions. I'm not gonna do anything, um anything special because it might be that it wants you to have 12 normal minions at once and not like upgrade anything we'll see this is working out so far anyway i wonder if i can tell how many i have so i have six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen well that i should have enough i'm not sure if i do but i'm gonna keep taking normal minions I like to double and triple down on taking like weird, weird uh, upgraded 
Minions. But, you know, this is kind of nice too. We're just like overwhelming the enemies with, with uh, numbers. Um, I also, I have like a super dash. I don't generally use it because I, I find it to be not very useful. You have to stand in place for a bit to use it. This is another thing you can kind of upgrade. I guess we can't use it for, it's got like a cooldown. Okay, gonna continue to take extra stuff. Collecting bone pickups shall increase thy maximum health. I actually really appreciate this one. Gonna, going to continue taking normal, okay, there we go. Lich Necromancer Unsealing. We've unlocked the, the Lich. Um, nice. So that's a new character unlocked. That should be interesting to check out. Maybe we can check that out before I call it on this. I still want to check out some of these new relics. Um, extra chance of being offered giant minions and increases the maximum amount of giants thee can rise. Oh, that's kind of really nice, actually. So we've got a ton of minions now. We should uh, start melding some of them into giant minions. So these are uh, giant bone fisters, which uh, I, can't, I can't believe. I, I, you know, the dev knew exactly what they were doing. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's get some gems. Not really sure what the gems are for, if I'm being honest. I haven't really seen that. Uh, maybe they're useful for something that I, I haven't really like made use of myself. Sodden peasantry armor themselves. Um, there's also another interesting form of meta progression, which I'm going to talk about after this game is over, which is that you can upgrade the enemy. You can basically make um, unlock a form of difficulty that you know uh, makes different enemies show up, like the rats. If you've been seeing the rats show up, that's something you have to unlock. And I, I do actually kind of like that, like in addition to making yourself stronger, you can also make the game a little bit harder. Uh, and you can turn them off as well, right? They're not they're not really necessarily permanent. Marvelous chests miraculously appear, or are they? Okay, let's try that. So they seem to be little traps that we can set upon the enemy. Oh, what is this? Pot bro? Steerless pot bro. I, I didn't know it was a pot bro. I just said that and then it actually was. Alchemic pot bro minion to thy undead legion whom tosses out mini pots of strange sh uh, shifting sorceries. Cool. Um, yeah, like I say, I really like the flavor of this game. It's got, it almost feels like it's, it's already Halloween, you know? It's got this kind of fun spookiness to it. Um, Archer Bone Bulls, we're, we're gonna upgrade units as much as we can now that I have like a ridiculous number of them. Right, we've got the, the boss, this should be interesting, I wonder, ooh, the, uh, my uh, minion cast Big, Big Bone. Potato Face, we got Potato Face. Well, we definitely are doing some damage, not as much as you'd hope. Oh, oh, I took two of them. I, met, I tried to dodge. Shoot. We got another card. Let's go to our meta progression. We're going to try the new character. So it might be... Maybe we'll we'll save some money for the, the new character. Um, hold on a second, though. Um, heroic Force. So this is... Um, if we spend... We can spend a bit of money here and, like, a small group of superstitious beggars bid the unwelcome. So we can, like... Um, buy some some enemy stuff upgrade the enemy so that they they have a, more of a fighting chance against us I suppose if you're feeling like the, the game is becoming a little bit stale um, Then that can that can be worthwhile. So let's see um, We can switch the character. I wonder if This one is also affected by the same class We'll have a quick look at the architect mode. We can see I haven't unlocked all of the traps yet, but we can uh, possessed posts um, spontaneously combust fire around it also increases the limit on flaming raising flame bro minions so we can replace something with that 
And we can do a couple of those. Those cost money, so you gotta be a little bit careful. We could do, um, these ones generate bones, so you, you get a bit more of a passive currency while you're playing the game. And you can see I've already got a couple of those. So this is our lich. I'm not sure how the lich is going to differ from our normal character. So we'll, we'll do a flame bro. Seems to me that the lich is like exactly the same so far. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they are, are much different. I should have, uh, I guess when I hovered over them, I had the option of trying to see what they, what, you know, they, maybe it was going to tell me what they, what they do. I'll have to look after this, but yeah, I mean, like, is this, is this game a super deep one? I wouldn't say so. It's it definitely the kind of game where I jump in and I'm just going to pick up a bunch of upgrades and see how, like, chaotic things can get, but I really enjoy it. I think it's really, uh, addictive. In a, in a good way and it definitely sets itself apart in a few ways that makes it uh, a worthwhile entry into the um, ever crowded arena survival genre. Smelly beggars are revolting. There's also this guy over here. I am not sure what his deal is. I wonder, I'm wondering if at a certain point he uh, becomes more of a thing. But like you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things going on that I don't yet, uh, I haven't yet like really explored. Stinky peasantry arouse a champion. Oh, there's a, a thing. Unlocked a new card, beggar. Nice. So maybe uh, if I um, unlock some of the heroic meta progression, I can unlock some more cards uh, quickly, and uh, that will allow me to make progress in the card game. Really not sure what the card game's about. I'm not sure if there's some progress that is kind of locked behind it. Um, it might be just like a little fun extra mini game that this dev crammed into this, which I, I just think is is really fun. It's another like $3 game, by the way. Like this is, you know, these games are always super cheap, but it's, it's always amazing to me. Like, you know, this one's got a lot of stuff in it and a card game and like just, just an absurd amount of stuff going on. An unknown relic. Voodoo doll. Enemies joining the fray have a chance of being permanently hexed. Nice. So that'll maybe make them take a little bit more damage. Um, we'll do a warlock. I really like that uh, archer effect. The demon archer effect is really cool. There's a, a thing there. Okay, a uh, relic. Um, calf donor, spare leg muscles that increase running speed of all minions. That sounds good. I like the music as well. It's just, I don't know, there's something really chill about it. Like I said, it's, it's kind of doubling down on that, um, kind of fun spookiness. Let's, let's upgrade our warlock. So there are the rats. We're just, I'm just kind of focusing on dodging around, not really, not really doing too much here. We'll need, oh, we're at, we were at 100, that was weird. Okay, we're upgrading our Warlock. Trying to go for a level three warlock. Warlock has some really good damage output. Um, this is a spell. All nearby enemies are transformed into barrow boners. Barrow boners. I wonder if that's permanent. That would be really, really nice because the barrow boners uh, are. I mean, they're they're not a lot of damage, but they can be. I, like enough of them combined, that could be really good. So I just uh, turned a bunch of them into Barrow Boners, and yeah, it seems to be permanent. All right, let's um, let's get a another boomerang. Let's get a boomerang or bone bolster. <laughs> this is, a, this is a, like a fun kind of uh, lyrical quality to, to playing this game. Everything sounds very. Um, 
poetic. Chesty. High wizard approaches. Okay, let's not die this time. Um, and boned giant borrower. Yeah. Oh, let's upgrade. Uh, up. Uh, open this chest. Oh, we have the opportunity. Already dead. Nice. New spell. What is this? Barrow Bone Bolster. Sacrifices a Barrow Boner to level up a random normal minion. I like that. And then Humongous Bones. I like Humongous Bones. Um, I guess we can't cast one until we cast the other, so I'm going to have to wait until I can use for, like, an opportunity to use the, um, the big boner. <laughs> yes, I know what I said. These slimes seem to drop gems. Oh, I see. The gems are just more money. Okay. I see. I thought the gems were a different kind of currency, but I guess not. So I'm going to try and uh, resist um, picking up the bones. Because they don't drop. Uh, one of the meta progressions I unlocked was that they will never disappear. Um, and I'm just going to wait for as long as I can. And then use my spell to uh, make them all bigger. Oh no. I don't know why I, I walked into it. Okay, we should be just about good very soon. Oh, demon, yes. Demonic possession. Uh, uh, let's get the space invader looking one. Tummy bugs. Dying meanies may release a sticky mess of soggy bottoms. Very good. I'm trying to use the spell. It's not really working. There we go. Boom boomerang bone bolster. Uh, let's get another warlock. Getting all them bones. I'm thinking about them bones. Realmic Knights Decree It Shall... What? We got our little pumpkin fellow. He, he just kind of runs into enemies and explodes. He's a good lad. He'll, he'll set you, set you straight. I appreciate him. He's a consistently taken one for the team. As the, as the game progresses, obviously the bones are not going to count for as much. So you got to collect more of them. Now, as, as is kind of traditional in these RPG-ish experiences. Ooh. Okay. Upgrade our warlock. If we could get another demon warlock, that'd be kind of nice. I have a pretty good damage out, uh, output right now. I am appreciating what's going on right now. Muster their reinforcements. So this is generally when I die. Devil's Ball of Doom. For a brief moment, thou becometh destroyer of worlds. Okay. Let's let's not die with that in our hands. Um, let's do another emboned giant borrower. Those are those are looking like pretty good DPS. Yeah, this is working out really well. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use my spell pretty soon. What is this? Wanted poster. More enemies shall arrive to stick thy head in a box. That doesn't sound good. Okay, we are destroyer of worlds. I'm gonna stay inside this glowing field of death. All right, it's gone now. Oh, that was maybe a mistake. We're, we're so close to maybe seeing something new. No. No, 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 no. Dead. All right, all right. Well, that was almost, I think, another 10 minutes, so no no worries there. Um, let's see your class heritage. Okay, so yeah, the Lich Necromancer does have some different abilities. New, uh, rises anew with an extra random minion friend. However, thy maximum health is reduced. Each level one normal minion increases all thy re legion's damage. Ooh, that's interesting. So they they benefit from more normal minions. 
Each different minion increases all thy legion's attack speed. Okay, maybe they don't. They, they're an interesting character. You have to balance them a bit. With each bone rise, all unsucked bones shall surely be sucked. <laughs> Listen, buddy. You can't just, like, make me read these kind of things. Thy bone suckage ability shall become a th truly unrivaled. <laughs> Let's just grab them all. Um, that rises anew with an extra random minion. We get less health. Each legion minion increases thy maximum health. Barrow boners have a chance of spawning as a normal minion. Okay. So that's our class heritage. And uh, we have quite a bit of uh, coinage for more. Oh, just, I'm just going to like work on getting everything. Can we roll up to three? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab everything. I'm working now towards like 100%ing the bone raise lore, um, and that's just about gonna do it. Um, I, I I'd love to spend more time on the Clashful Clans, but what are these? Game of Silver remains sealed to the buy all heroic forge meta to at least level one to unlock. Okay, so I haven't done that. Um, buy all level three bone raise lore and heroic. Force meta to unlock. Okay, so there's a there's quite a lot of stuff to do in this game. Uh, we can see what the next. Um, oh, I didn't realize I got another one. Uh, Blaspheme rituals and occult incantations. Thou has made a forbidden soul pact with the Hellion realm itself. And in this one, I need hurtily suffer 666 health loss to uh, uh, to unlock. Okay. Cast six spell scrolls to unlock. Interesting. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. It's not the deepest game necessarily, but it does have depth. And the important thing is that it's fun and it doesn't feel like every other game that you've played. Um, it's got its own unique flavor, it's got some really good tunes, and it's got a really slick style that I think uh, kind of sets it, it, itself apart in itself. So um, yeah, Bone Rise Minions, I think this game is a lot of fun. And you should check it out, it's three bucks. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.